after listening to the audiobook from Mark Mansell's Subtle Art of Not Giving AF, the title and chapter and then you die ended and revealed to me a spiritual epiphany I had been searching for at that time. With tears of vague gratitude, I realized in that moment that I wanted to make death a staple in my mind, in my life as much as possible without somehow making it morbid so that it could remind me to seek and create things that make me feel alive. At my age now, 22 i find life both beautiful and fucking crazy i find myself just in a lot of parallels and duality particularly i find the uncomfortable cathartic parts of this period bewitching i've been focusing on my inner world sometimes against my will uh, and the pandemic was just fuel and i've realized that you know those moments when you, you're just like one so how have you been away from peeling back someone's fingernail or something like you just are so fed up with the pleasantries of surface conversation small talk or maybe it's nothing in particular honestly in those moments i find that the little things start to become so big if it's all too much for whatever reason for no reason you feel crazy you feel dramatic the best one can do in moments like those is just step outside into the sunlight if you have that <laughs> stick out a tongue and just taste the sun no i'm allowing myself to appreciate and recognize that to feel out of control is to feel vulnerable and that's okay it's a necessary part of this journey that i don't fully accept yet at some point in the middle of embracing and trying to reject the chaos of not knowing i slowly started to see the beauty of curiosity exploration growth and self-discovery in the eye of the proverbial storm i learned the most about myself my strengths, weaknesses, and the limitless potential in me through very teary-eyed grins on my bedroom floor when I so badly want to have it all figured out. And yes, that is a part of the problem. Wanting to have it all figured out is an ideal. The ideal is just idyllic. Reality is not an ick. It is what it is. Our understanding of it and response to it is what makes it an ick or makes it a friggin' good time. We know this. Interestingly, while drafting this script, I learned one of my favorite sayings for this particular thing is actually a Bible verse, Proverbs 23 verse 7, and this is ironic if you know me, and it is, as a man thinketh, so is he. I truly do believe that. These days, in helping me to embrace this transient period of my life, I try to view the unknown as like the fool or jester card in tarot. You know, those who know know. It's a zero in the major arcana trump cards and generally represents beginnings and endings duality basically which is literally the theme of this period that i just constantly constantly feel beatrice k otto who wrote a whole book about the history of gestures in society i quote her saying of at least equal importance with his entertainer's cap was the jester's function as advisor and critic the jester everywhere employed the same techniques to carry out his delicate role and it would take an obtuse king or emperor not to realize what he was driving at since other court functionaries hooked up the king's facts for him before delivery the jester delivered them raw this particular quote to me embodies the essence of the fool the essence of the gesture and the energy that it carries the fool is anything it wants to be because it is nothing in particular and that's the power of transience to me I've decided if I'm using this reasoning to process this period in my life, best I can do is to try to have some fun in the midst of it all while it lasts.